Can you imagine a place where your every move is watched and a simple joke can land you in prison? We'll uncover the dark side of North Korea from the strict government control to the daily struggles of its people. North Korea, officially known as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, is situated in East Asia on the northern part of the Korean Peninsula. It shares borders with China to the northwest, Russia to the northeast, and South Korea to the south. The country is flanked by the Yellow Sea to the west and the Sea of Japan to the east, giving it significant strategic maritime boundaries. North Korea spans an area of approximately 46,541 square miles, which is about 120,540 square kilometers. Despite its relatively small size, the country has a significant population of around 25 million people. 10. Taboos in North Korea Culture Criticizing the government or leaders, criticizing the regime, its policies, or the Kim family is strictly forbidden. Any form of dissent is met with severe punishment, including imprisonment, torture, or execution. Accessing foreign media Listening to or watching foreign media is prohibited. Possession or distribution of foreign films, music, or literature can lead to severe consequences, including imprisonment in labor camps. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying the video. Unauthorized travel. Traveling without government permission is forbidden. North Koreans are not allowed to leave the country or even move freely within it without official approval. Discussing sensitive political topics. Talking about sensitive topics such as the political situation, government policies, or human rights is taboo. Engaging in such discussions can lead to severe repercussions. Practicing religion. Practicing religion is highly restricted. The regime enforces atheism and religious practices are monitored and often punished. Religious gatherings and the possession of religious texts are taboo. Expressing individuality. Displaying personal style through fashion or hairstyles that deviate from the state-approved list is prohibited. Expressing individuality in ways that do not conform to the regime's guidelines is taboo. Celebrating foreign holidays. Celebrating holidays or events that are not sanctioned by the state is forbidden. The government enforces strict adherence to national holidays and prohibits the observance of foreign or religious holidays. Speaking with foreigners. Interacting with foreigners without government supervision is highly discouraged and can be dangerous. Unauthorized conversations with foreigners can lead to suspicions of espionage or disloyalty. Showing affection publicly. Public displays of affection are frowned upon and considered inappropriate. Such behavior is viewed as contrary to the regime's conservative social norms. Ownership of unauthorized technology. Possessing technology such as foreign mobile phones or unregistered computers is prohibited. The regime tightly controls technological access to prevent the spread of foreign information. Dark Side of North Korea 9. Severe Political Oppression North Korea's government exercises extreme control over its citizens, ensuring that any form of dissent or criticism is met with harsh punishment. The regime monitors the population both physically and digitally, using an extensive network of informants and surveillance systems. This all-encompassing control creates an environment where individuals cannot freely express their thoughts or opinions without fear of severe consequences, including torture, forced labor, or execution. The government's grip on power is maintained through this oppressive system, which stifles any potential opposition and keeps the populace in a constant state of fear. This political oppression is not limited to within the country's borders. North Koreans are prohibited from leaving the country without government permission, effectively isolating them from the rest of the world. Those who are allowed to travel, such as diplomats, elite students, or athletes, are closely monitored and must attend special briefings upon their return to ensure they have not been influenced by foreign ideas. Eight. Limited Internet and Media Access In North Korea, access to information is heavily restricted. The Internet is limited to a mere 28 government-controlled websites, which provide heavily censored content on topics like recipes, local news, 
and educational material. This tightly controlled environment prevents citizens from accessing any foreign media or information that could challenge the government's narrative. Those caught consuming or distributing foreign media face severe punishments, including imprisonment or execution. This strict censorship ensures that the population remains indoctrinated with the regime's propaganda. The country is ranked last in the world for press freedom, which highlights the extent of the government's control over the media. The regime uses this control to propagate a cult of personality around the Kim dynasty, glorifying the leaders and demonizing external entities, particularly the United States and South Korea. 7. Strict Social Controls and Surveillance Every aspect of daily life in North Korea is subject to government control and surveillance. The regime dictates how citizens should dress, with a list of approved hairstyles and banned fashion items. Non-compliance with these rules can lead to severe consequences such as forced labor or imprisonment. This level of control extends to public behavior as well, where citizens must adhere to strict rules, such as refraining from celebrating birthdays during national mourning periods for deceased leaders. The government's surveillance network is extensive, with citizens constantly monitored by a system of informants and security personnel. This pervasive surveillance creates an atmosphere of fear and mistrust, as individuals cannot be sure who might report them for even minor infractions. The constant monitoring ensures that any potential dissent is quickly identified and suppressed, maintaining the regime's tight grip on power and preventing any organized opposition from emerging. 6. Forced Labor Camps and Three Generations Punishment North Korea operates brutal forced labor camps, where political prisoners are subjected to inhumane conditions. These camps, such as the infamous numbers 15 and 16, hold up to 20,000 detainees each. The prisoners are forced to perform hard labor, endure torture, and face severe deprivation. The regime uses these camps to punish not only the individuals who dissent, but also their families, through a policy known as Three Generations Punishment. This policy ensures that the relatives of a political prisoner, often including their children and grandchildren, are also sent to the camps, even if they have committed no crime themselves. The conditions in these camps are dire, with former detainees and defectors describing a grim existence marked by malnutrition, overwork, and constant abuse. The purpose of these camps is not just to punish the prisoners, but to instill fear in the broader population, discouraging any thoughts of rebellion or dissent. 5. Widespread Starvation and Food Insecurity North Korea faces chronic food shortages, largely due to its isolationist policies and poor agricultural conditions. The Great Famine of the 1990s, which resulted in the deaths of approximately 1 million people, around 5% of the population, highlighted the severity of the country's food insecurity. Despite these challenges, the government remains reluctant to accept external aid, viewing it as a threat to their self-reliant ideology. This refusal exacerbates the food shortages, leaving nearly 40% of the population undernourished and in need of humanitarian assistance. The situation is further worsened by the government's mismanagement and prioritization of military spending over civilian needs. Despite offers of help from international organizations, the regime's policies continue to hinder effective solutions to the food crisis. The government's insistence on self-sufficiency, despite the unfavorable conditions for agriculture, perpetuates the cycle of food insecurity and malnutrition, contributing to the suffering of millions of North Koreans. 4. Economic Mismanagement and Poverty North Korea's economy is plagued by severe mismanagement, leading to widespread poverty and economic stagnation. The government's focus on military spending and self-sufficiency, despite poor agricultural conditions, has resulted in chronic food shortages and a lack of economic development. Many citizens live in dire poverty, with limited access to basic necessities such as food, clean water, and health care. The regime's reluctance to engage with the global economy further isolates the country, preventing any significant economic progress. The disparity in resource allocation is stark, 
with the government prioritizing the needs of the elite and the military over the general population. This has led to a situation where the majority of North Koreans struggle to survive, living in inadequate conditions with little hope for improvement. The regime's policies, aimed at maintaining control and power, have created an environment where economic hardship is the norm and opportunities for advancement are virtually non-existent. 3. Severe restrictions on personal freedoms. North Koreans face extreme restrictions on personal freedoms, including the inability to access uncensored information, travel freely, or express dissent. The government enforces strict social norms and uses propaganda to maintain control over the population. Public expressions of individuality, such as fashion choices or hairstyles, are tightly regulated, and violations can result in severe punishment. These restrictions create an environment where personal freedoms are severely curtailed, and individuals must conform to the regime's strict guidelines. The constant surveillance and control extend to everyday activities, with citizens unable to engage in basic freedoms that are taken for granted in other countries. This pervasive control ensures that any potential dissent is quickly identified and suppressed, maintaining the regime's tight grip on power. The government's focus on controlling every aspect of life reinforces the cult of personality around the Kim dynasty and prevents any form of cultural or social rebellion from taking root. 2. Poor living conditions and infrastructure. Many North Koreans live in poor conditions, with limited access to electricity, clean water, and healthcare. Outside the capital city of Pyongyang, provinces face regular power outages and lack basic infrastructure, exacerbating the hardships faced by the population. The government's prioritization of resources for the elite and the military leaves the general population with inadequate living conditions, highlighting the disparity in resource allocation. The regime's focus on maintaining control and power has led to a neglect of basic infrastructure and public services. This neglect results in a lower quality of life for the majority of the population, who struggle to access essential services and live in substandard housing. The stark contrast between the living conditions in Pyongyang and the rest of the country underscores the regime's prioritization of its own interests over the well-being of its citizens. 1. International Isolation and Human Rights Violations North Korea's isolation from the international community contributes to its severe human rights violations. The regime's focus on maintaining control has led to widespread abuses, including forced labor, torture, and executions, all conducted away from international scrutiny. The country's isolation prevents any significant external pressure to improve human rights conditions, allowing the regime to continue its oppressive practices unchecked. The government's secrecy and control over information make it difficult for the outside world to intervene or provide assistance to the suffering population. International organizations and foreign governments face significant challenges in addressing the human rights abuses occurring in North Korea. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from our channel. Also share your thoughts and comments below.